What's good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. It is that time of the year again. The Royal Rumble is upon us. My favorite pay-per-view of the year. We always kick off the year right with my favorite pay-per-view. I'm very freaking excited for it. I think this is going to be the best Royal Rumble pay-per-view in a long time. The card is looking absolutely stacked and I am literally shaking in my boots ready for this freaking Royal Rumble, guys. I'm literally just so freaking hyped for it. The card is looking effing stacked. And uh, you guys know how I feel about it, and I'm just ready to go. But today we're going to cover 10 realistic surprise entrants in the WWE Royal Rumble. 10 people that could actually show up. You know, it goes rampant every year. You know, Kenny Omega, freaking CM Punk, Brad. I mean, freaking uh, Chris Benoit is going to rise from the dead and enter the Royal Rumble. That's literally how the WWE community and the wrestling community reacts when the Royal Rumble rolls around. But today I'm going to give you 10 realistic options that could be potential surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble this year, 2019, guys. So let's go ahead and roll on with our 10. First up, guys, we have the Dead Man. And yes, The Undertaker is obviously always a surprise entrant. You know, it's always rumored that he's going to show up. He always has a WrestleMania match every single year, and it's probably going to be set up through the Royal Rumble. I know a lot of people were talking about Finn Balor possibly being his opponent for WrestleMania 35, and if that's going to be the case, then he may show up at the Royal Rumble. He may not be in the Rumble. He could just cost Finn Balor the Universal Championship, and that could keep, you know, Finn Balor looking strong, and that could set up their feud going into WrestleMania. That is my first realistic surprise entrant into the Royal Rumble if he were to show up is The Undertaker. Second on the list, guys, we have my boy Kevin Owens. I'm super duper excited for Kevin Owens to return. It's actually speculated that he is actually going to be entering a feud with Bobby Lashley as soon as he returns. It's going to be the Monday Night Raw after the Royal Rumble. He is going to enter an Intercontinental Championship feud with Bobby Lashley the night after the Royal Rumble. So I guess you guys can look forward to that. And I'm very excited for it. So Kevin Owens, my boy, is going to show up at the Royal Rumble. Very realistic. And I think that it's pretty much a certain at this point. The next surprise entrant realistically is Sami Zayn, guys. Along with Kevin Owens, I think Sami Zayn is very set to return. You know, they did do their little return promos at the exact same time on Monday Night Raw, and I'm happy for Sami Zayn to return. If I were Monday Night Raw and WWE Creative, I would bring them back as a team, and I would let them run after the Raw Tag Titles. I would have them capture the Raw Tag Titles because uh, Gable and Rude really aren't much of a tag team, and I think that these guys could lead a division, and I would love to see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens return. So there is the next realistic surprise entrant in this year's Royal Rumble is Sami Zayn. The next one, guys, is the former Raw General Manager, Kurt Angle. Angle. I think that this is definitely a possibility. You know, he had his little stuff with Baron Corbin. He had a lot of stuff going on this year or last year in 2018. And I think that it's probably possible that he could show up, maybe setting up another WrestleMania match or anything of that nature. I could see Kurt Angle for sure returning in the Rumble here as a surprise entrant and possibly getting back his Raw GM spot. I don't know, but... He is for sure probably going to show up at the Royal Rumble. The next realistic surprise entrant we have, guys, is Fandango. He is set for injury return, just like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. He is supposed to be back. I think he is just now cleared, and Fandango should be showing at the Rumble. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a surprise entrant, even though it wouldn't be much of anything. You know, not too many people will be hyped, but I would like to see the Fashion Police get involved in some tag team championship opportunities, and Fandango could be part of that thing. You know, he could come out with Tyler Breeze or something. I don't know, but the, the Fashion Police and Fandango is clear from injury, and he could easily show up as a realistic surprise entry in the Royal Rumble. Next up, guys, we have a bit of a two-in-one, but these guys are also cleared from injury, and they are returning very soon. We have the Bludgeon Brothers Harper and Rowan, and they are together, the Bludgeon Brothers, and they are also both cleared just recently, like I just stated, just like Kevin Owens, just like Sami Zayn and Fandango. They are finally getting back to health, and they are cleared just this week, I do believe, so I think that they could easily be surprise entrants in the Rumble. I wouldn't personally like it. That's two more spots gone for epic surprises, but I think that uh, this is realistic. You guys know uh, CM Punk, Kenny Omega isn't going to show up. They, WWE most likely would throw those guys in there just to give up two more spots and uh, crush our soul and dreams. So there's the Bludgeon Brothers. Could easily see them showing up as potential realistic surprise entrance into the Royal Rumble. Next up, guys, we have another guy that should be returning soon, Bray Wyatt. He needs to return at the Royal Rumble. I think that, you know, the WWE Universe, they got sick of him, man. The last time he had a run with Matt Hardy, it was absolutely atrocious. Everybody was just sick of Bray Wyatt. 
Um, he finally left when Matt Hardy did his little injury deal. They had their little feud thing, and then and then it was over. And now Bray Wyatt's been off TV for a long, long time. I mean, I feel like he's been gone for over a year. Obviously, I don't think it's been that long, but it has been a long time. I feel like he's been missing forever. And I think that Bray Wyatt needs to come back. I think that the Bludgeon Brothers, Braun Strowman, and Bray Wyatt could all go come together and reunite the Wyatt family and have like an epic deal and make him part of something big on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. I think that that is something that his character missed. I think that he was just floating, treading water for so long. I think that if they got the Wyatt family back together, put the Bludgeon Brothers gimmick to the side, bring in Braun Strowman, have something valuable for all those guys to do. Bray Wyatt would be an epic little uh, realistic surprise entry in the Royal Rumble. So I think that he is next up on the list. Another guy is someone from NXT, guys. We have Adam Cole, who did enter the Royal Rumble last year. So why wouldn't he be a realistic possibility for this year's Royal Rumble? I think that Adam Cole could easily come out. You know, he had just wrestled Aleister Black, I do believe, the night before. He came out with the freaking ribs taped. He looked incredible in the Royal Rumble, and I know that the crowd would pop huge for it. So why not bring him out again? I know that uh, he could do it, and they should do it. I think that Adam Cole, even Kyle O'Reilly or Bobby Fish or Roderick Strong, I would be happy with any of those guys. I think that Roderick Strong did show up at the greatest Royal Rumble, so why not have Adam Cole return in the 2019 Royal Rumble? I think that is very realistic and possible for Adam Cole, baby, to show up. So Adam Cole is our our next realistic surprise entrant into the Royal Rumble. Next up on our list, guys, we have the UK champion. We have Pete Dunne right here, and I think that uh, just like Adam Cole, it's very possible. You know, I mean, with the UK division being launched and everything, UK is at an all-time high right now. And I think that people would love to see it. You know, the Royal Rumble always has the best crowds, the, the smarky crowds, and they would pop huge for Pete Dunne. Everybody loves Pete Dunne, and I think that that would be a very epic surprise. And it's realistic and possible for him to show up at the Royal Rumble this year. And I think it would be epic sauce to get him in there and mix, to mix it up with Adam Cole and all those epic guys. So I think that Pete Dunne is very realistic possibility for this year's Royal Rumble. And our last spot, guys, is the animal Batista right here. Guys, I think that this is definitely possible. You know, we we saw the seeds planted with Triple H at SmackDown 1000 with, you know, an Evolution matchup. I know that was going to be the seed planted. Before Triple H got hurt, I know they were planning a WrestleMania 35 match between Batista and Triple H, and they were going to have Batista return. And I think that Triple H is starting to get back healthy again, and if they want to book that matchup, here is the time to do it, guys. You could have Batista come out at the Royal Rumble, and you could have Triple H cost him the Rumble without actually being in the match. Maybe show up behind him and throw him out, you know, distraction, throw him out. He doesn't even have to do anything much just so, you know, he tore his pectoral, and that is something that uh, he wouldn't have to be in the Rumble match itself. He would just have to show up, eliminate Batista, setting up that further feud for WrestleMania 35. So I think that Batista could easily be a surprise entrant, and I hope he is. I, I really want to see a full run Batista back before he retires for good, and he said he would do it if he could fight Triple H in a WrestleMania match. So hopefully that happens, and that is the last one on my list for realistic potential surprise entrance in 2019's Royal Rumble. And I actually sort of have a wild card pick for you guys and we're going to show it off right now. My last realistic possible surprise entrant for the Royal Rumble is Kenny Omega. You know I had to throw him in here guys. I mean everybody says it every single year and why not? I mean if it, it, everybody thought last year was you know the epic year of Kenny Omega. This is the year. This is the year. This is the year it's going to happen. And I think that we topped it this year with his contract ending very soon. I know everybody talks about his contract ending a few days after the Rumble. But again I've said it a hundred times. I'll say it again. Contracts are not bulletproof and you can get around them if you have a good relationship with the people that wrote you the contract and built up the contract. And uh, they could easily do it. If he wanted to come to WWE and they wanted him in that Rumble, they could can do it, man. They could put him in that Rumble and he could win the damn thing and go on to Mania 35 to fight AJ Styles, Finn Balor, or whoever the hell he wanted. So that's all I'm saying. Kenny Omega is a uh, realistic thing. I mean, uh, his contract expires. All Elite Wrestling, he hasn't fully committed to them yet, and it's realistic. So I put it in there as a wild card pick, and I gave you guys my picks for realistic potential surprise entrance into the Royal Rumble, guys. So that pretty much does it for my list. If I left anybody out, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear you guys sound off and let me know who you think could be a realistic... I'm not talking about CM Punk. I'm not talking about, you know, random... I'm not talking about your grandma showing up. I'm not talking about your freaking father-in-law popping up in the freaking Royal Rumble and cooking you some freaking mashed potatoes with freaking gravy. I'm talking about a realistic son of a gun showing up. The people here are realistic. I didn't step out too outside of the boundaries there. Obviously, Kenny Omega is one of those, but uh, it's, it's more realistic this year than any other year, so I threw it in there. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for 
more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Comment down below your realistic surprise entrance, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. I'm not talking about your freaking father-in-law popping up in the freaking Royal Rumble and cooking you some freaking mashed potatoes with freaking gravy.